I am here at the Orchard Knob Reservation that I'm going to be honest, I never even heard of until this morning. I was watching my video from the Missionary Ridge Reservation, the Bragg Reservation, and YouTube recommended to me a video about the Orchard Knob Reservation, and I didn't even know this existed. And from from hearing a uh, park ranger talk about it, evidently very few people do. It is the least visited Civil War Memorial here in Chattanooga. Orchard Knob is an old neighborhood. It is a relatively poor neighborhood. But on this knob, it's not really a hill, it's just a knob, but it is a strategic viewpoint out across the valley of Chattanooga and across over to Lookout Mountain where you can see Point Park and Craven's House from here. On November 23rd of 1863, Union forces met up with about 640 some odd Confederate soldiers here at Orchard Knob. This battle lasted from what I've gathered about 10 minutes. I'm not sure you'd call it a battle. It was more of a skirmish and they ran the Confederate soldiers off as they approached back over to Missionary Ridge. That was November 23rd. On November 24th, the Union soldiers took Craven's house on Lookout Mountain and on up to Point Park and strategically captured both of those areas with Missionary Ridge being in the middle. And that's why Grant decided to attack the rifle pits at the base of Missionary Ridge on November 25th. So in a matter of three days, the Union soldiers had captured Orchard Knob, they'd captured Craven's House in Point Park, and they had captured um, Missionary Ridge, the Bragg headquarters of Missionary Ridge, and routed the Confederate soldiers out of Chattanooga for the most part and secured Chattanooga for the Union Army. This is just as important an aspect of the battle as any other thing, and yet nobody knows until now. You know. <laughs> if you're in Chattanooga, this is on Orchard Knob Avenue, I believe it is, um, just off of Macaulay, uh, and um, it's free parking. It's a great place to be. Well, I didn't really mean to go back to one of these Civil War sites quite so quickly. <laughs> but honestly, I was just watching my video this morning. I, I, I log into my Tim Childers photography channel and watch the video so that I can see it like everybody else sees it. It also counts as a view and I can hit the like button, you know, and cheat the system just a little bit. But as a result of watching my own video, the algorithm gave me two or three uh, videos about Orchard Knob Reservation, which honestly I had never in my life heard of. I have been down Orchard Knob dozens and dozens of times, and it, it goes down one direction and then Macaulay crosses it. And I have gone down Orchard Knob and I've always turned on Macaulay. I've never gone past Macaulay. And it's like three blocks away and it's just sitting there, never knew. Anyway, enough about that. So on this video, my intention was to take my Ulanzi MT-79 and set it up to get those walking shots of me that you saw in the video so that I could actually be in the video rather than just talking. And when I got there, I realized I had emptied my car and it wasn't in there anymore, <laughs> which is really why I'm glad that I, let me put this over here where it may go into focus. I'm glad I had my little credit card holder. I, you've seen this one before, but for those of you who may be new, this just turns around and then it folds up and the card sits down or the phone sits down in these little deals right here. This is always attached to my Ridge wallet. I mean, I've got it with me everywhere I go all the time. And so I was able to set it down on the wheel of a cannon or on the edge of a monument and, um, and, and walk around that way. So not all was lost. The other thing was that I was just going to record my audio on my microphone. 
Um, my microphone, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me stand up. So I'm recording on the DJI mic, and it's actually recording into the mic. It's not recording on the phone. And so my, my thought was that I would just kind of walk around and talk about it and then put all the video over my talking. And at the end of the day, I thought, well, since I've got this, this little car holder here, I just set it up on a monument ledge that was just above eye level, so it's kind of looking down at me a little bit. And I decided to video myself as well, and then just make that the audio of the video and put all the B-roll over the top of it where I could cut in and out to see me talking. I like that plan better. And now that I've thoroughly confused you, <laughs> let, let me know in the comments what you think about the video. And um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.